One of the most difficult parts about being a creator on a platform like YouTube is showing up consistently. Everyone always says that showing up consistently is the key to success and growth. And they're right, to a degree. Hi, my name is Larry. I am a content creator here on YouTube who makes videos that help other creators like you move forward in their video creation journey. In my time creating videos, I've learned that being consistent really helps you do a few things. One, it helps you get used to talking to the camera. Regardless of how easy any one person makes this look, this is a skill that takes time and practice to get better at. Next, it allows you to get faster. Part of the pain in the beginning of trying to be consistent when creating videos is that things move slow. You're slow to set up your gear. You're slow to export and organize your gear. You're slow to edit the video. But the more that you do it on a consistent basis, the faster that you're just bound to get. And third, it really gives you confidence in your subject matter. It doesn't matter how long you've been doing something. The key to understanding if you're a true master at it is if you can teach someone else. And so whenever you're practicing sitting in front of a camera, talking to the lens, talking to the person on the other side and teaching them something, it really helps you develop your skills as a speaker, as a teacher, as someone who can communicate a point from yourself to someone else. And it really helps build that skill when you do this week after week after week. So if you're a true beginner and you're a student of this, you know that showing up consistently is the key. But your real question might be, I know I need to show up consistently, but how do I show up consistently? How am I supposed to find the time between my nine to five and my family and my friends and my activities to sit down and make a video every single week? Well, I got you. To be honest, the answer is really quite simple. It's a little painful, but it's simple and it's that you have to make it work. Now, I would never be the person to tell you to stop spending time with your family or your friends or your activities or slack off at work. That's not who I am. That's not who I wanna tell you to be. What I am gonna tell you is that you'll make time for the things that you really want. And so if you really want to create video content, then maybe you're not gonna read that extra chapter of that book maybe you're not going to spend that hour scrolling on social media maybe you wake up an hour earlier or go to sleep an hour later the key to making it work is finding all of the nooks and crannies to make the system work and the system that i'm talking about is a framework that i've come up with to not miss a single video upload every single week for 2024. we're about six months in I haven't missed a video upload. Even though some days I don't hit my Sunday mark, the video still goes up that week. Now, the main way that I do this is by breaking the tasks that are required to create a weekly YouTube video up into different days. And I'm about to explain to you what those days are. Each of these tasks usually takes me an hour or less, with the exception of the video editing. Sometimes that takes a bit longer but each one of these tasks can be broken up across the span of a week to make sure that I'm hitting this goal every single week. And as an added caveat, I'm also able to keep up with my full-time job, spend time with my wife, watch YouTube videos, read a book if I want to, and get a decent amount of sleep. And all of this leads me to the sponsor of today's video, me. I've actually spent the last several months putting together an ebook that really outlines and details the framework that I've used for the last six months to put out a weekly video. It goes over everything from mindset to the tools that you need to what you should be doing on specific days in order to hit your weekly upload. It's full of tips and tricks and practical solutions, and I wrote it with the hope that it would help beginners who are overwhelmed with all of the things needed to create YouTube videos. If you're interested in going from idea to upload, I would greatly appreciate it if you checked out the ebook, if it's something that interests you. There's even a resource list in the back with useful links. There's a checklist in the back so you can literally mark off each task as you're supposed to be doing it. Seeing as this is my first ask of my community, I'm launching at just $10. I really truly believe that it is worth more than that, but I really want to test it and ship it to you guys and 
any feedback I receive, I will make sure to make some edits and reiterate and you guys will get an updated copy of that book for free. So if this is something that interests you, the link will be down in the description. I would greatly appreciate it. Now for the remainder of this video, I really want to go over the framework that has helped me achieve this goal. Normally I release videos on Sunday, which means that my work week actually starts on Monday, which happens to be my idea generation day. On this day, I'm doing things like intentionally watching specific videos, refreshing the YouTube home feed to see which things or trends are popping up in the category of videos that I create. I'm also doing things like checking my YouTube studio, uh, the research tab in YouTube studio to see if it has given me any really nice or really cool ideas or surfaced any videos that I may want to be inspired by. Tuesdays are usually when I solidify that idea. By Tuesday, I need to have a general idea and at least three sub ideas or sub topics to really flesh out the video. This is when I'm spending some time really thinking about what I'm gonna be talking about, what I'm gonna communicate or what the video is going to be about. I already have my main topic, but on Tuesday, I'm trying to flesh those out just a little bit more. Now, between Wednesday and Friday is when I'm usually writing a script. I actually do write out a word for word script, but I don't use it. The word for word script helps me on the back end and I'll get to that. But writing a script word for word really helps me flesh out the purpose of the video, the points of the main topics of the video. If I can write them out and really explain them, then that even helps me when I'm freestyling like this I have my main topic and I have my main point, but I also have a full fledged sentence and a full fledged description of the point so that I make sure I'm hitting every single thing that I want to talk about in this video. I also include a space for any sponsored content. Now, truth be told, I don't have any sponsors right now, but I'm trying to remember to promote myself somewhat in these videos. And so I'm trying to make sure I have space in my script so that I can leave those pieces of content, those main points, those sponsorships, if you will, in the middle. And so it doesn't directly interrupt the flow. It's also great practice for when I do get sponsorships, I can practice lead-ins and transitions and make sure that I'm not just throwing sponsor content in the middle of a video for no reason. Saturday is my filming day. Saturday is the day where I usually set up the lights, set up the camera, plug in the microphone and sit down and record the A roll of the video. A roll is usually this talking head part, or if it's going to be more of a voiceover, I'm recording the voiceover. I'm gathering all of the footage needed. So if I need B roll, I'm either sourcing that footage and organizing it or actually shooting the B roll so that I have it when I move on to Sunday, which is my edit day. Now, Monday through Saturday, these things, these tasks are usually taking me an hour or less. I've done this enough times to where I can usually film a video in about 30 minutes. I've done a lot of idea planning and sourcing and I've broken all of these steps up to where all of these tasks, like I said, are taking me an hour or less until Sunday. So Sunday is when I sit down and I actually put the video together. I'm putting things on the timeline. I'm going back and splicing things. It's also when I add any effects or search for music. I'm adding color grading or titles or anything like that. Then because my computer is a bit on the older side, while the video is exporting, this is when I create the thumbnail. I'm refining the title in the description and I'm putting all of those other final YouTube pieces of the puzzle together. As an aside, on Tuesday or Wednesday is when I'm usually deciding the title of the video. I do this early when I'm writing my script so that I make sure I'm saying those keywords and key phrases and I can actually use the title or whatever I decide to put on the thumbnail as a lead in into the video so that it makes sense for the viewer whenever they click on it. Now, earlier I said that I actually write out a word for word script and I do this for multiple reasons. The first is that I plug it into an AI to help give me a base of a description. The second is I've started writing an email newsletter and instead of transcribing the video and just throwing a transcription up, I actually have 
a decent email with all the points, all the major points listed out with subtopics. Um, and so sometimes I'll throw that into an AI to kind of tweak it or fix it and use that as email copy. The third is I use this for social media or blog posts. Since I have a word for word script and all of the points laid out, I could throw it into an AI, kind of format it for blogging and put that on a blog. Or I take this whole script and I throw it into an AI and I say, you know, please help me generate a few posts based on this. And so I'll either cut video clips and use this as descriptions. I'll create carousels from this. I've even created tweets or threads or LinkedIn posts, however you wanna use the written format version. I'll reformat it for those different platforms. This is the framework that I've used for the past six months to create a weekly video. Have all of those videos been bangers and hits? No, but I have done this every single week. I've shown up every week for six months and I can feel like I am getting better at at least one thing every single week. Some weeks it's the thumbnail, some weeks it's the title, some weeks it's my delivery, some weeks it's my writing. Every time I do this, I'm getting a little bit better at something. And it is my hope and my dream that all of those things compound over time to where I am essentially a better video creator, a better on-screen talent, and a better video producer over time. If this was helpful and you want a few more details, like I said, I have an ebook that I've written down in the description below. I would appreciate if you check that out. Otherwise, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to at least one person. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Remember to do the work, believe in yourself, and keep creating. Peace.